Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I'm coming at you guys with the long-awaited Christian Louboutin nail polish collection video. So if you want to see this video, stay tuned. All right, so Christian Louboutin or Louboutin, what is it? Louboutin or Louboutin? I'm going to call it Louboutin. Louboutin. So Christian Louboutin came out with their own nail polishes and of course I went crazy. I love Christian Louboutin and they gave me another reason to go buy something else. So, so this is the first one that they came out with and this one is called Rouge Louboutin. This is like the red that they have on the red bottoms and it comes off like this and it reveals the polish inside, which looks like that. And if you wanna see a full review on this nail polish, I did do a video on it, it'll be right here. So click there if you wanna see the full video on the specs on this nail polish, so yes. So it looks like this, and when you open it, it looks like a paintbrush, as you can see, very nice. And it has the gradient look on the nail polish container or package. And I really, really love this red. This is like the perfect red for every skin tone. And while we're talking about that one, I want to show you guys this here, which is a much smaller one, as you can see, compared to the larger one. And this one is called Luby Under Red. And this is the red that you will put on the inside of your nails to give you like the red bottom nails. So this is what this is. And you open it the same way. This container looks like that. It's all black. And when you open it, of course, it has that same type of wand. But this one has like a felt tip on it. So you can get in there really easy on the back of your nail. So yes, that's what that looks like. I wanted to compare the red on the shoe bottom to the one of the nail polishes. So Rouge Louboutin is supposed to be like the red on the bottom of the shoe. So let's see if it's correct. And I would say it's damn close, you guys. Do you see that? The heel is in the way. Can you, can you see that? It's like dead on. So it is like the red on the back of the shoe. Really nice, huh? So yes, that is the red for the red bottom. And also I want to show you guys the bases that they came out with. They came out with a top coat and a base coat. And these came in a set together for like $55, I think, for both of them together. And I rarely use these. I don't know. It's just the texture is a little bit too thick for me. I like to go with, you know, one of the other bases and top coats that I have in my collection. But they are really good quality nail polishes. So I'm gonna talk about the rest of the collection and they have three different lines in the collection. First we have the Nudes collection, which looks like this. It has like the nude type of handle here and the nude color there and here. The next one we have is the Pops collection, which will be like the silver color here. And the Pops is like, you know, all the colors that will pop, like the bright colors, like summer and spring colors. And the last collection here is the Noir collection. This is like the deeper colors, like for fall and winter time. I wanna show you guys how I swatch my nail polishes so I don't have to, you know, go in here here and look at each one to see which one I want to wear that day so what I did is I put the nails on a piece of stick and I colored it on there and wrote the names and now I have all the nail polish colors on these sticks so whenever I want to see what a color is gonna look like on my nails I can just grab one put it to my nails and see if that's the color that I'm looking for so I did do two coats on each nail so that is all the colors here and I did just put it in one of my old perfume boxes and I added some like uh, marbles inside to have it stay up the right way that I like so that's what that looks like and this is always stored in here with the rest of my nail polishes so yes I really love this idea so the whole collection has 31 colors including this not including like the bases and the like special collections that they're gonna come out with but 31 permanent nail polishes in the collection full size and I have every single one they do have one that I'm never gonna get because it's way too expensive it's like almost $700 for that one nail polish and it's one like this one but it's like blinged out with Savarthi crystals all over it but I'm not tripping. I can just, you know, have the regular container and I'm good with that. And if I wanted Savarthi crystals, I can just put it on myself for way cheaper. <laughs> so yes, that's the only one that I don't have that they have out right now. And also they just released a new collection for the nail polishes. And this one is called, I don't know, but this is the, the Spring 2015 Limited Edition nail polishes. And as you can see, it's like that snake skin print right here. So when you open it, it looks like this really nice I love the way the arches are in this really pretty and as you can see you have your like off-white cream kind of color you have your blue it's like a pastel -y type of blue and then we have like a pastel type of yellow here and these are all limited edition let me just show you guys the names of them this one is called hot chick this one is called true blue and this last one is called ooh Salonu. 
It's S-A-L-O-N-U. <laughs> and I don't have nail swatches of these yet, but they will be coming soon. I'll show you guys what they look like. So that is the limited edition that they just came out with that I had to go purchase. So yes, and if you wanna know the prices and stuff, just go to the website and it'll have all the prices there. So today I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing on my nails. I'm wearing three different colors. I tried to go for the little ombre effect, but you know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I think it came out rather cute if you guys can see that. I did purple, blue, and turquoise on my nails today. Love it. I've been trying to go through all the nail polishes because I want to wear each polish at least one time this year, you know. So I've been taking pictures every time I change my nail polish so you guys can see what it looks like on my nails. All right, so let's get on to the rest of the uh, collection. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Nude Collection. I think each collection has like 10 colors in it. I'm not sure. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys today is Sweet Charity, which looks like this. And this one would be great on fair skin tones. This would be like a perfect nude for them. If you're a deeper skin tone like me, this would be good for like an American type of polish look. Or this would be good for a French tip. If you don't wanna go for the white look, I think this would be perfect. And even overall, it looks good. And this is this one here. And on me, it would be something like that. You guys can see that. Still cute, I still wear it all on its own. So yes, really love this one. And this is the Sweet Charity. So Sweet Charity is like a white creamy type of color. Excuse my nail swatch. I did have a, a bit of a problem swatching this. This one I had to swatch like three times because it's so light. The pigmentation is not as pigmented as the other one, so you have to use more than one coat to get an opaque finish. And this is around three coats. Okay, so the next one I have here is Madame as New. Yes, I think these are like French names, you guys. I don't know, but this is a nice, like really light pink. It's like a creamy pink milky color. I really, really love it. And you can check out the swatch for this right here. This one has super sheer coverage also. You would need about two to three coats to make an opaque finish. Next we have La Favorita, or La Favorita, whatever. <laughs> it's just like the other color, but a little more pinky tone, I guess. Really love this one too. I've worn this one before, and it's a nice nude on my skin color also. So even if you're a deeper skin tone, you can get away with the nudes in the collection. So this is like a medium warm pink. It is a bit sheer also, but two coats will get an opaque finish. So the next one I have here is Tres de Colette. Yeah, and this one is gonna be the pinkest one in the collection. So this is like a really nice milky pink also, but this is gonna be the pinkest in the collection. This is a blue base type of pink, and this will give you more coverage than the last three. This one has a little bit more coverage, but you still will need about two coats for an opaque finish. The next one here is called Just Nothing. And now we're getting into more of the brownie type of nude colors, like the beige types. And I guess this is like a beige type of color here. This would be perfect for my skin tone also. I really, really love this one. So yeah, that is Just Nothing. So this one is like a really nice beige color. This one has a thicker consistency, so I only needed one coat, as you can see, for a full opaque finish. Okay, so the next one is Tutuli. Yeah, tutuli, and that's an even deeper type of beige color with a hint of like pink in it, I guess. So I really, really like this one also. Well, I like all of them, so yes, you're gonna keep hearing me say I really, really like this because I really do. So yes, that is tutuli. This is like a perfect nude shade, and this one only needed one coat also. So now we have Simple Nude, and I just wore this one before I did these nails here. So yes, I really, really do enjoy this color also. Everybody has been complimenting me on this nail color. And this one is more like beigey brown, you know, nude type of color. This is a very warm nude color, and this is very opaque also. I only needed one coat. All right, so the next one we have is Me Nude, and this one looks like that. And this one, I think this is a little deeper than the last one. Perfect for like tan skin tones or deeper. Really, really nice on those skin tones if you want it to be like a nude polish. This one is a very cool mauve type of nude color. Only needed one coat. Okay, next we have Ulta Perla. Looks like that. And it's a pretty like gray tone color. Really, really pretty and kind of unique. Yes, really, really pretty. Nice kind of like light gray color. I really love this on every skin tone. And it looks so pretty on the nails. This is a really pretty gray nude type of color. It is a bit thinner than the last couple of ones, so you might need two coats, but this is one coat on my nails. 
Okay, so we're coming up on the last one in the collection and this one is called Zulu and this is the brown shade here. This is the deepest brown shade in the collection uh, and this is really pretty also on deeper skin tones or if you're just going for that chocolate look, this will be perfect for you. So yes, this is Zulu. Very beautiful chocolate shade, only needed one coat. It's very thick and pigmented. Okay, now we're gonna get into the Noir collection. And the first one that I have here is Cold, which is a nice black shade, really deep black shade. Really, really nice if you wanna go for like that vampy or a dominatrix type of look. Really pretty for that. This color is super pigmented and thick. All you need is one coat and you'll be good. The next one I have here is called Daffodil, which daffodils are my favorite shoes that they have. And this is another like gray shade. And if you're wondering why they have two gray shades in the collections, this one is a little bit different from the last collection. As you can see here, these are the swatches. And this one here is from the new collection. And this one here is from the Noir. The Noir collection is gonna be the deeper shade. So I really, really love this when you wanna have that deeper gray. This one is very pigmented also. As you can see, I only have one coat and it's very opaque. Now we're gonna get into like the ready shades in the collection and this one is called Savillana. Uh, yeah, you guys know I can't pronounce these things. So yeah, this is like a deep wine bloody type of red and I really, really love it, you guys. I love this color. And if you want that vampy look, this is so perfect for you. This color is very tricky to use. As you can see, it can be very streaky and darker and lighter in some areas. So I would suggest doing two layers. As you can see, I only did one because I want to show you how different the colors do look when you do do one layer. So two layers will be your best option. The next color here is another red, and this is like a blood red, and this one is called Very Prive. Love this color also. I am a red girl. I love to wear red nail polish. I just started wearing other colors because I bought the whole line, but usually I would wear like red polish all the time, like every time it would be red polish. So yes, I got another red here, and I love it. This color has great pigmentation. As you can see, I only did one layer, and it looks very opaque, but I think two layers would be your better option. All right, now I'm gonna show you like the browns in the collection. And the first one that I have here is called Collapse. This is like a deep, deep brown shade here. Yeah, if you wanna have that deep chocolate shade, mocha shade, this is perfect for you. This color is more like a dark chocolate color. And this one was very opaque also with one layer. And here we have a shimmer color, and this one is called Farita. And this is a nice like brown, bronzy, shimmery type of shade. And you don't really see too many like uh, shimmery shades in the collection, it's like maybe two in the collection. So yes, this is one of them, and it looks like that. Very pretty color. I would probably wear this as like a pop of color on the nail. Not really a pop of color, but like if I went in with this color, I'd probably put this color on like one of the nails, you know, just to have accents to it. This color was very opaque with just one layer. So now we're gonna get into more of the colorful shade in the collection. Even though they're all like dark shade, vampy type of shades, but they are like colorful, I guess. So the first one I have here is like a nice deep purple color here. So this one is called Lady Page, and I love this purple, you guys. It's so pretty on the nails. So this is the perfect purple for like winter and fall. This is a nice, almost eggplanty type of purple and it's very opaque with just one layer. So here we have a turquoise shade, a really nice deep turquoise shade. And in the bottle, it looks like it's a gradient effect. I'm sure you probably just need to shake it up. Looks like it has some green in it. And this one is called Zermadam. That's what this one is called. And it's a beautiful turquoise shade. And I'm wearing this one right now on the tips of my nails. Really, really pretty. This color is almost like a forest green type of color. One layer was very opaque, but I think two layers would be the best option for this color. The next one here is a nice blue shade. So this one is called Lady Twist and it's a beautiful blue shade. It does have a hint of turquoise in it looks like, but very pretty and unique. This is a nice like sapphire blue and it's very opaque with just one layer. And the last color in the collection is this blue shade here and it's called Bianca and this is one of the shimmery shades that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, it's just a nice blue shimmery color and like I said, I will probably use this on like one or two of my nails for like an accent nail, but I probably wouldn't put it all over my nails because I'm not really a shimmery type of person. So that is Bianca. 
Bianca is a beautiful, like, cool tone blue, very opaque, which is one layer. All right, now we're gonna get into the pops line and that's gonna be like all your bright shades for like spring and summertime. And the first shades I'm gonna be showing you are like the pinky type of shades. And the first one that I have here is called Plummet and it looks like this, which is a nice light pink color. It's like a lighter pink, like a baby pink, really, really pretty. So the next one here is called Bengali. Bengali and this is like a deeper type of pink like a fuchsia pink I guess it's a little bit deeper than the last one as you can see here and this one is like my favorite pink in the collection love this one the next one here is like a corally pink and this one is called Miss Luby and this is like the favorite one in the collection for me I love this coral pink love it the most Okay, now I'm gonna show you like the orangey type of shades in the collection. And the first one that I have here is called Escatin, Escatin, which is like a nice tangerine type of orange or true orange, if you will. Really nice. The next one here is like a tangerine type of color. I guess this is more of a tangerine, like a blood tangerine or a blood orange maybe. And this one is called Poppy, which is my favorite orange in the collection. I love this color. The next one is a really unique funky color and it's called Mulalisa. And it's a beautiful like neon yellow. Really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna show you guys the purple in the collection. This is called Lava. And it's a lighter shade of purple than the last purple I showed you from the Noir collection. This is more of a neon-y type of purple. Really, really nice. Now we're gonna get into the blues in the collection. This one is called Wherever. I guess you wear this wherever. And it's a beautiful blue shade as you can see. Now we're getting into like the turquoisey type of shade and this one is called Nitonimo. Nitonimo. Mm. And this is like a lighter turquoisey type of shade. It's like a milky turquoise shade to me. Really, really pretty though. So the last color that I have in the collection is this one here and this is called Batinolza. Batinolis, da, da 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 I don't know. So this is like more of a milky turquoise shade, very milky type of shade. Really pretty though, as you can see there. So all in all, I'm in love with all of the collections. I love all of the colors, very pigmented, well worth the money. Some of the colors do resemble each other, so you can get away with just getting one or the other. And that is some of the reds that I like. Here's some of the lighter blues or turquoises. And here are some of the orange colors that are similar. And here are the blues. And as you can see, the colors are similar, but they are different at the same time. And here are some of the nudes. They are very close in color, so I would say, you know, just pick one or the other. Some are more pinky, some are more brown. And here is what I use to dry my nails. It's an automatic machine, and I clean up my nails with this little slanted brush here when I'm done with some acetone. All right, you guys, that is the whole collection. I showed you guys all 31 colors. And yes, that is it, you guys. If you wanna see how I store it, I store it inside of this casing here. I just put it on top of a shelving system here on both sides. And yeah, that's where I keep my nail polishes. So what was your favorite shade? Leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and what you like in the collection. And if you own any of these, let us know how you like them. Do you like their nail polishes? Is it worth the money? Let us know in the comment section below. And yeah, that is it, you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye. And these these two came in a set. Each one will come up with each one with or a French or before I before I put this one. Okay, now we're gonna get into like a red perfect per, blah, blah, blah. really 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 pretty brown. I will see you guys. So make sure you let us know. 
So what? So it looks like that. Oh. So if you're not 18 and over, please click off the video. This is for adults only. We're going to be talking about grown people stuff. So if you want